hello guys my name is gloria and this channel is home of skill so in this video we are going to making liquid soap for home use and commercial purposes so these are the quantity of the materials we are using and this is caustic soda this is caustic soda the next is nitro soap there is also anti, anti soap but i'm going to teaching that in the production so stay tuned this is soda ash And the next is color. Please don't mind the appearance. This is green color. The next is SS, SLS solution. If you don't want to use Texapone, you can use SAS, but we are making use of the two. This is Texapone. It's a jelly solution. And the next is... The next is... STPP solution. The next is foaming booster. This is about 250 milligram. So the next is sulfonic acid. If this is 500 milligram, if, if you don't want to, if you don't want, if you want the soap to be uh, as, as to have excessive um, have excessive foam, you can use it about 850. The what I just showed is um, the fragrance. So please guys, this is a surface I dropped it. Please don't drop it on the floor. Okay? Don't drop it on the floor to avoid um, watery soap. So you can see the surface I dropped it. So we are making about 15 liters of soap. So we have four liters in the bucket so we are going to be adding more 10 liters i have the ones that i'm going to use i have about one liter that i'm going to use to dissolve the solutions before adding it to the soap bucket so this is the 10 liters of water please take precautions please do not test any chemicals and um, keep all the chemicals out of reach of children avoid direct contact of the soap you can see the way i covered my hands don't allow it to touch your skin or your eyes okay do not make this preparation near any uh, naked flame or fire you can see this uh, house I'm making this soap outside so what I'm dissolving in water, what what I'm dissolving in water is SAS dissolve it in water and set it aside can see it this is the water I kept to dissolve those chemicals so stay tuned and watch dissolve properly to avoid formation of lumps so the next is our soda ash And this is this soap this is a soda ash it cannot contain if I add water in this cup it's going to pour on the floor so I'm going to be introducing another cup to share it dissolve in water and set aside So the next we are going to dissolve in water is caustic soda and whenever you dissolve a caustic soda in water it, the container always feels very hot and um, um, the reaction is exothermic reaction the caustic soda liberates heat to the environment so that's why it always feels very hot Pour in water, dissolve and set aside.
so this chemical is going to cool down for a while then the next is nitro so yes I said I will discuss about the nitro so and the anti so the nitro so dissolves instantly in water why anti so takes time to dissolve but the same, they have the same uh, appearance like powder both of them nitroso is a polymer is a carbohydrate so we just added our caustic soda to the soap solution so the next is our soda ash you know this soda ash is two so we are going to add the second one now so the next is our SLS remember I said if you don't want to make use of SLS, you can make use of Texapon, but we are making use of, use of the two. I want to achieve a very thick soap. So the next is uh, STPP, dissolve it in water. Stir it properly and set aside. We are still going to be making use of it. So the next we are going to be adding is our sulfonic acid. This is 500 milligram. If you want to achieve an excessive foaming, you can use 850. But this is, is going to, still going to be foaming. So now we are going to be introducing our foaming booster. So add the STPP you dissolved in water, add it into the soap solution.
So next, dissolve your, your color in water and set aside. So right now, we are going to be introducing the texapone into the soap. Remember I said this is optional, the texapone. If you don't want to make use of the SAS, you can make use of the texapone. So introduce your color in water. And this green, uh, green color, it has a generic appearance and appealing to a soup. So I prefer this green color. You can add any color of your choice. So now introduce your fragrance. Please don't you make use of designer's perfume. When you go to the, a, a chemical store, they will give you a good fragrance that you're going to be using. So <laughs> it's very, very funny, but please don't use your designer's perfume. That is not good. It's not good for soap. Stir the soap properly. You can start making use of it or you can leave it till the next day. So the next video I'm going to be showing is the soap. I left mine till the next day. So look at the appearance of the soap. So it is time for testing. We are going to be testing the soap. You can see how my hands is. You can see how foamy my hands is. Please, if you like what you are watching, please subscribe to my channel. It will make my channel grow. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Press the bell notification of more videos so you'll be the first to get it when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching, guys.